Sometimes elements of your website will not break down the way that you hope they do in a responsive setting. So let's say for example the header in this site is not breaking down the way we want for desktop, tablet, and mobile. With Beaver Themer, we can actually build out headers just for those particular breakpoints. Here's how. First you'll want to go into the Themer Layout section. Click Add New. We'll call this Header General. The type will be Themer Layout. And the layout is going to be a header element, not a footer or any of the other options there. Once we create that page, we get to the settings. Do we want the header to be sticky, which means when you scroll up it'll stay? I'm going to choose no on this option. Or do you want an overlay option? Uh, you could even specify which location this header will show up in. So maybe it's only in an archive section or just on particular pages. We're going to choose entire site. And we're also going to choose all users. Now we can launch the Beaver Builder tools to build out our headers. So you see it will start me with default header row. What we're going to do is we're going to add two more rows. Here and here. Now the trick to making them responsive is to go into the row settings, click on advance, and under display, we'll make this the desktop row and we'll say for large devices only. Save that. For the second row, we'll make that medium devices only. And for the third row, small devices only. So when this header element displays on a web page, if it's a desktop, it'll show this top one. If it's tablet, it'll show the middle one. And if it's mobile, it'll show this one on the bottom. So now let's quickly build out uh, header elements for each of those breakpoints. Okay, what we've done is this blue header we've said to show on desktop as well as this top header with the phone number and the social links, those will both show only on large devices. This red band will show on tablet and the yellow band will show only on mobile devices. Acknowledging this is hideous design because uh, you would never actually build a site like this, but just to very well demonstrate when we're switching from one look to another. So what we'll do is we'll publish this and once we publish it, it goes back to its desktop setting, which you can see here. But if I'm to switch it to tablet, you'll see it went to the red. So now we're just doing the abbreviated uh, name, the phone number, and the hamburger menu. And if we go to phone, we'll get the yellow band, that's the abbreviated header, and just the hamburger menu with no phone number anymore. So just by using the responsive settings, you can create very robust display issues.